So I'm going to show you exactly what I played and um, for this song all you just need is three important chords. This song was played on the key of E, you know E major scale. This is A major scale, but on any key or plane, I'm going to still give you an example, you know, because this is A major scale, so that's why I just I'm doing the A. So three chords that you need: you need the chord one, chord four, and chord five. Chord one is your A major chord, chord four is your D major chord, and chord five is your E major chord. So let me do that one hand. So these three chords are what was used for the song. So uh, the, um, the first one, A major chord is made up of your A, A, C, A, C sharp and E. The second chord is made up of D, F sharp and A. The third chord is made up of E, G sharp and B. So these three chords, uh, that is what make up the song. So then I'm now going to show you, I'm not going to show you the vamping, how to do the vamping. So let's go. So you can do any intro you want to do for the start. Let's be Five. So this song is actually a one four one five progression. So now this is how the vamping was created. So one four five one that's the progression. So now this is the vamping. You're doing this so left, right okay right left right 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 so right left then right 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 so right four times right left right 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 so you come back to one come back to five come back to one to four come back to one go to five very easy now to even make it more spicy on your left you can keep your left stable so you see to make it more spicy now you can actually download this loop there's a link for the loop in the comment section make sure you share this video and you follow my page for more stuff like this drop a comment and tell me where you're watching from i really want to know where you're watching from and let's uh flow with each other so this is how it's going to sound Look. any intro can go it's me intro piano on the beats so this is just it so when you get the loop you know, in the comment section you see the link to download you can use it on your own now on any key you're playing just your chord 4 chord 1 chord 5 chord 1 that's it then use the vamping technique i showed and you're good to go very easy now this is how to play it now let's think about how to spice it it's just the regular way to play it but let's think about how to now spice it up now you can now include this chord now this is your chord six but in this scale major scale of asia of key a this is a f sharp minor chord which is made up of f sharp a and c sharp so you use this as a chord replacement to your chord one when you're coming back so when you do something like this four 
one, five, instead of coming to one, you now do five, six, so you understand. So I'm now going to show you something like this, four, one, five, six, four, one, five, one. So you can either do, use it as a chord replacement for your chord one anytime you like. So let's apply it to the loop and see how it sounds. Let's be in truth piano on the beats. So you see now. See? See? Let's do it again. One way you can spice up your playing. Now another way to spice it up is to do something like a passing chord to four. So you can do six, uh, six, five, four. Then so very easy. So this is this is how it is. I'm going to show you right away. Let's be in the beats. So watch, watch now. Let's go to the pump fair. So watch. You see what I did there? We do it again. So what I played there was this the passing movement there was six five four the one two three flat uh mm, so six five four three when you do mm, 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 so six five four three four so it is six five four three four i'm going to give you the chords for your six you already know this f sharp minor your four you already know is a e e major mm -hmm. then the next one is your chord four which is a d major chord then your chord three which is your um c sharp minor chord which is made up of your c sharp e and um g sharp very easy so you do mm, mm, ding, dun, 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 there you go to four so this is how you see how i'm improving the spice up if this is so complicated for you you can just do the easy one which is just Ivan. then if you feel you want to do advanced you're an intermediate player you can apply this one as a chord replacement and if you feel you're an advanced player you can do the c is five four dun, dun. you can use it to spice up your play and it sounds really 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 interesting so that's one way so we'll do it again please if you really enjoying this video don't forget to follow like and subscribe now we'll do it again but this time now i'm not going to after then i'll now show you something it's crazy so teach us intro remember the download link is in the comment section let's be in so watch Let's do something. If this is so stressful for you to move, do you know you can actually change these chords and play them on inversions? So this is my chord one. I'll maintain the chord one at the root position, but this chord four, I'll move this note to this side. So it'll be one, four, then one, then five. So I can see the, but I prefer to use this five. So this is my chord five. So I'm moving this guy. Then I'm moving this guy. So the, 
So one, four, then five. So the inversions I'm doing for code four is this. This is the inversion. So this is originally my code four, which is D major chord, but I moved my A to the nearest left position. So this is it. And this inversion is uh, the second inversion. Second inversion. Then for my chord five, which is E, E major chord, I moved this notes B and G sharp to the nearest left position. So you now have this. And this inversion actually is the first inversion. So I'm um, instead of doing I'm now doing this. Let's apply it and see how it sounds and you see we really really going to love it so this is intro let's be intro piano on the beats so you see So depends on what you're looking out for, but I'm just, it's just showing you how a simple progression have transcribed to something more interesting. So with this simple progression, you can actually make this song spicy, make it very, very nice and beautiful and enjoy your play. So that's it. And uh, I hope this really, really helps you out. Now on any key you're playing, it's the same thing. For example, you're playing on the key of F, it's the same thing. So you have four, one, Five one, then another six, then 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 so six five, six five four three. Then very easy. So on any key you're playing, if you're playing on the key of C, so you see four one five. If you want to do that, six five four three. Four. Very easy, but let's go back to E because that's the key. The key song was split. So you can just apply this technique then check for the comment section to get the download link if you can't find the download link on the social media you are then probably you should check on my youtube or my facebook page that's where you see if you're watching on tiktok probably you know, won't be able to get download links from my tiktok comments all right so this is it thanks for watching and have a nice day